All right, this is mainly just going to be for my benefit. I'm hoping to be able to work with the aluminum bracket and check the spacing and basically come up with a modified version of this aluminum one that is for the triple S cars because the spindle's a little longer and everything. Um, the triple S 411s. Okay, that's the one that came with the uh, Roadster engine in it uh, and came with discs. Okay, so the original kit I came up with was to convert drums to discs and I need to upgrade that. I want to upgrade it. 30206 which is listed correctly on all the part sites and everything and this is a 30304 and I do have the stock spacer under there right now. This is a <clears throat> So in the kits I include a stud sleeve that goes down there to help take up this slop. Uh, that slop isn't anything that I really need to worry about. My positioning should be fine in and out. It's just going up and down or in and out as it sits on the car. Hmm. And if I countersink two of these holes, that'll center it right up. Oh, not enough room. Okay. I don't think the... Taller spacer is going to do the trick either. Oh, and that does work with the cutter pin. Yeah, here too tight. And the bottom shortened here to clear the steering arm. So I'm kind of hoping the steering arm comes down and, and out far enough here that it clears this. So I don't really want to make this any thinner because I was using 3 8 plate before and that's what everything was set up for. And it's still roughly 3 8 of an inch there, just a hair shy. That's fine. Okay, there is 1.1 1 .1 inches in between there. And the rotor is 0 0.875, 0 0.23, so not quite a quarter inch of difference, okay? Uh, so half of that is going to be 0 0.165, yeah, and that's so friggin' close. So if I go, if I go 0 0.165 down... That should put me right in the middle. Oh. Ah. Crap. Basically looking for something that I can put over here, big washer kind of thing that just push it up another sixteenth of an inch for clearance. Had this sample pack of small springs for Ever. Oh, by forever I mean five years or so. Okay, so that should hold the bearing up enough and I can get it clear there and then I can check my other clearances. too tight on the, what do you call it, uh, cotter pin. Okay, but this should just slip in there. Yep, okay. That looks pretty nice. rubbing in the center here a bit. That's interesting. I pulled all this shit out of the box over there, crate. There's no absolute guarantee I got the right pads in there, but 
They're all the way up at the top exactly where I want them. Uh, I think I have a... I think the pads are different front to back. And it could just be different brand. Basically the same pad, but right here where my clearance issue is, because uh, it, it's rubbing right there. So I'll have to look around. I think I probably have a brand new set of pads for testing. Oh yeah, see that's perfect. See, and clearance wise, the steering arm comes over and out to here because it's when the when the tie rod is mounted. So I got a feeling I may not have any clearance issues with the uh so I'll just have to uh push those back a bit. So there's some room in there to bring that back. I might might be able to get away with one uh, one bracket for both and just have spacers, but I kind of hate doing that. Somebody loses a spacer without realizing it puts it back in. It's all cattywampus. I'll probably have to make a test one just to just to find out for sure. Wish I had the time and everything to model all this crap, and I could check it in CAD. That takes a lot of time. They don't look too bad from there. I need to raise that uh, contour up just a little bit. Uh, if you were watching before, I had a same problem kind of thing where it uh, it's clamped so tight it kind of wants to bow a little bit. Uh, part of the reason why I did that floor pass. So we'll see. I, I think what I may do is uh, change their orientation in the soft jaws, but uh, for right now, for doing the prototype and that stuff, I think we're okay. Cut the stock just a hair too small, and so when I put it in, I didn't account for that in the left and right centering in the jaws. Had I moved it to the right, eh, about 60 thou, maybe 80 thou, um, I wouldn't have got this flat spot. And same thing here with this flat spot. Had I, because uh, uh, it was sitting down like this, so it was all the way over to the uh, left. So anyway, um, but I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, I've got room for the uh, cotter pin here. The pads are right where I want them, and nice and concentric. Centering is very nice. This is the bolt that uh, may come into question with the steering arm with the tie rod end. Uh, but I have like below safe thick pads in here you know it should be moved up but anyway that uh, that can get ground down a little bit I, I'm I may look into putting getting uh, some different bolts for here basically those uh, shallow allen heads uh, I think that might uh, do the trick there and this is actually a kit that gets allen bolts here okay and this is part of the reason why, because uh, it's kind of iffy as to whether or not you can get a uh, socket on there. And same down here when the steering arm comes through. Uh, I, wa I want to remember that uh, there might be some clearance issues there. So I'm going to move, I've already moved that in CAD slightly. I've created a pocket up under here in CAD to deal with the spindle clearance. Uh, I need to send it to the guy who ordered the kit and uh, have him test fit all this against his because he has a steering arm and everything so all right center hole clears so what I did do here in order to clear the caliper bracket that's what this stuff is and I just roughly clearance that out with the manual mill and and this is why 
because these pads move down which brought the face up to here closer where it wasn't on the other see these are the disc brake ones tons of room didn't have to worry about it okay uh, these a little bit different story so I think probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to that same line I made but I may put a heavy chamfer on there I may carry the heavy chamfer all the way around kind of like I uh, did here just just because that's that's a fairly easy way to do it so as I already mentioned those two spots have been and this will be a pocket that goes down uh, three millimeters I think and then is is more rectangular this is this shape because I clearanced it on the belt grinder but I will take this bracket and I will send it off to the customer I'll have him mount it all up and everything uh, I guess it kind of depends on whether or not he's got the G20 uh, I, I can check this clearance here my concern with him is clearance for the steering arm um, but I will have to send the spacer with it so that way he can uh, space the hub off the way it's supposed to be so I think that's it for that once I get feedback on that I will create another pair of these with the modifications